Greetings. Apologies for calling you so late, but it's very important that we get in touch with you. No, this is not a scam call. Let me introduce myself. My name is Fiona Wales, the sheriff of your local county's police department. We're calling tonight because we need to ask you a few questions. Where are you currently? All right, still in your bed. Next question. Have you heard any strange noises tonight, or recently? I see. Okay. When was the last time you've been to your fridge? Just answer the question, please. All right, last question. Is your refrigerator running? Hello? Oh, good. You're still here. Looks like we got cut off somehow. Anyways, I need to ask you again. Is your refrigerator running? Please answer the question seriously. I am in fact with law enforcement, and we're not trying to alarm you, but you could very well be in serious danger. <sighs> what if I were to tell you that I am currently outside with at least 50 or more squad cars? Still don't believe me? All right, hang tight. We're going to flash the lights for a few seconds. Lights are on. Are you near a window? Can you safely look out the window? Can you see us, as well as the lights? Good. Now remain calm, and I'll ask you again. Is your refrigerator currently running? Hey, are you still there? You heard a loud noise. Shit. Kill the lights. Kill the lights. Okay, listen. I need you to stay calm, and I'll explain what's going on. We have reasons to believe that the fridge you recently purchased contains a sentient and very unstable AI. We're not sure what it will do, but you could be in severe danger. Don't worry. We're going to get you out of there safely. But first, I need you to calm down and stay focused. Okay? Okay. Where is your kitchen located? Okay, got it. Can you climb out of the window in your current room? Damn, that's not good. All right, all right. Is there any way you can get out of the house without going through the kitchen? Through the roof? Like an attic? All right, make your way there now. I'll send a team to help you get down. Just stay on the line and keep quiet, okay? You're on the roof? All right, we see you. You should see my guys with a life net. Don't be scared. They'll catch you, I promise. Just jump down. You can do it. I know you can. Just jump down. Thanks, fellas. I'll take it from here. Are you okay? Here, let me put this blanket around you. Here, have some water. It helps to stay hydrated. Well, like I was saying earlier, your refrigerator has a sentient AI that have been known to go rogue and terminate their owners. We're trying to apprehend it right now. Well, we've been tracking the manufacturing and shipment of that model in particular. Which means, yes, you are not the first. But thankfully, you are one of the ones we could get to in time. Yes. Unfortunately, there have been a number of recent homicides cropping up lately, and the majority of those victims have been a known owner of that model of fridges. 
The weirdest part is that the fridge will always be reported stolen somehow. Yes, the fridges are terminating people. Though we can't be sure why, we do know who made them. But before I tell you that, I think it's time I came clean with you. You see, my full name is Fiona Whalensburg. Miss Wales is just a short version of my real last name. I'm a member of the FBI's Unusual Incidents Unit. We specifically work on odd and wacky cases like these. Yep, it's a good thing that we found you. If you had tried to file an actual police report regarding a runaway fridge, they might have thought you were crazy. You see, we were investigating and cracking down on that model in particular due to their manufacturer, Anderson Robotics, a technology-based corporation dedicated to building a variety of seemingly highly advanced and out-of-this-world technology, combining thematurgy and scientific engineering. They've been on the scene for a while, and that fridge you just bought happens to be one of their many latest products. You remember the advertisements, don't you? A fridge equipped with a built-in AI and some sort of cold fusion reactor core that allows the fridge to absorb heat every time you open its door, and if, let's say, your power goes out, then the contents inside the fridge will remain cold for approximately two and a half days if you never open the fridge. Yeah, it sounded great on the market, except they didn't tell you that the AI assistance programmed in the fridge is the consciousness of a human being. Yeah, it's quite difficult to believe, but it is true. Shit, stay here, kid. We got a runner. I repeat, we got a runner. Damn it. Bullets ain't slowing it down. Damn. Good work there, Officer Dan, using your vehicle to help apprehend the subject. Too bad it messed up your wheels, though. By accident, you say? How so? Ah, well, your tardiness certainly seemed useful this time around. Oh, and don't worry about the car. I'm sure the department will get you a replacement in no time. All right, folks, tie that thing down and load it onto the truck. And as for you, I'm going to have to take you down to the station and ask you a few more questions and file a report, all right? Don't worry, it won't take too long. Plus, you're not in trouble. Just need to get some info down and we'll be on our way. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll make sure to get you a replacement. One without a built-in programmed AI, of course. The station isn't that far. We should be there in no time. This is Sheriff Wales reporting. What seems to be the issue? God damn it, not another one. <sighs> All right, I'll be there in a minute. Apparently, we just got another call come in. This time, we're dealing with a rogue toaster. Oh, don't worry. I'll still take you. But I gotta go deal with this first. You don't mind, do you? Good, because I sure as hell do. <sighs> this is going to be a long night. Author's notes. Hey, they're fake. The script is a little unorthodox. <laughs> a little? You think it's a little unorthodox? <laughs> Just a smidge? 